Hey everybody, thought I'd share with you what I'm up to today. I was in the Dollar Tree a few days ago and I noticed that they had definitely stepped up their wall art. Um, for years, they've always had those eight by 10 and you know, occasionally you would find something kind of cute, but nine times out of 10, it was never anything I was interested in, especially with these little plastic frames and it's not anything you would want to hang directly on the wall. But when I saw these square ones, I tell you what, I looked through a lot of them and some of them were just absolutely adorable. Very pinned like uh, super cute graphics and I mean I just couldn't even pick too hardly of which ones I want to bring home but and this one says welcome to our home uh, I'm gonna save this one for a future project but and this one is the one that caught my eye I want to I needed a something else maybe to hang in my master bedroom and I just thought this was so cute but I definitely need to get rid of the plastic gold and black plastic frame now me knowing that it was nine by nine I had in the back of my head when I went to Goodwill that I needed something kind of square like a square picture that I could take apart or a picture frame well I ended up finding the perfect thing it was one of those I call it a scrapbook page frame it's square it's a 12 by 12 frame and so I can take this picture apart and put it in there and still have a nice border going all the way around but I didn't want to leave it this oak color so I'm going to paint the front I'm going to take it apart I'm going to I'm going to paint it with some, I got this chalkboard paint. It's not chalk paint, but it is a dull black finish. And I'm going to distress it a little bit with some sandpaper. And then I'm going to just spray it with some clear sealer. Now, if you use chalk paint, you could use the wax or, you know, whatever, however you want to do it, or just leave your frame like it is, depending on what you can find. If you use one of these square pictures, it will really look best to find a square frame of some sort to do this with. Now, as far as hanging it, of course, it's got a little hanger thing on the back, but I wanted to hang it a little different and I wanted to expose my hanger above the picture and I and I have one of those picture hanging kits and it had some of these I call them cup hooks or whatever but I needed some of these little eye screws well I just took my husband's pliers and squeezed it and it made me two and so this will make me two so I need to squeeze the other one and I'm going to screw it into the top of the frame and then I just took some of this picture hanging wire and I'm going to just twist it and you'll see when I get done. So what I need to do now is take my little art apart, uh, take my picture frame apart and I'm going to paint my picture frame black. Now I've got two coats on my picture frame and I'm just taking some sandpaper that I had and I'm just roughing around the edges to expose some of the brown underneath. You could just leave it as is. You, I don't even think you'd have to do a clear coat, but since I have it, I'm going to do it. I'm going to do that outside since it's aerosol, but just kind of rough it up and give it that distressed look. Once this is dry, I'm going to put it all together and hang it on the wall and show you what it looks like. Okay, I was going to show you this before I put it all completely together. As I was looking at the backboard that I was going to put my wall art on, I noticed that it just, I don't know, there was a few little spots that kind of looked like tape or something that someone had, you know, used previously. So I've got tons of scrapbooking paper upstairs. So I just went and found a piece of just beigey vintage looking sheet that was very comparable to what the look I was going for. And so I'm going to put that in the frame behind the, my little picture and I think it'll it'll give me the same exact effect that I'm wanting to bring down my ATG gun I just decided to use this Elmer's two-sided tape and that's what I'm gonna affix the scrapbook paper and the artwork so it'll all be flat and flush so now I'm gonna put it all together okay friends I brought you up in here to my master bedroom and oh my gosh I'm in love with this it is turned out so cute on the wall. Now I had to do kind of plan B when I started to uh, screw in the little, the little eye, eye screws. Um, they would break off before I could get them all the way in. So I just put a dab of paint and you'd never know and you can't see at the top of the frame anyway. And my scrapbook paper doesn't cover completely, but it almost looks like it's double matted. This definitely does not look like Dollar Tree wall art and so I just took my little wire of beads and just looped them hung them over the corner of the picture to kind of look like picture jewelry I'm in love with it. It is so cute. Find yourself some of the square wall art and a square picture frame and there you go Hope you enjoyed it as much as I did. Thanks for watching. Bye. Bye